we are the representatives of our house. I'm Jasmine Lau from 3A. I'm Serena Lau from 3B. Today we will share with you a book called Until the End by Christopher Pike, a master of writing horror books. The book got 846 pages. A long story about a girl, Jessica Hart, attended a party with her friends. It was supposed to be a lovely party. However, her friend Alice was killed that night. And the whole situation turned into a nightmare, which freaks many people out. Alice was lying flat on her back and with a gun on her mouth, dead. It seems that she killed herself, but it doesn't seem logical that she can possibly kill herself that way. And the truth is that she was murdered. Jessica Hart and Michael also were frightened and really sad. Since Alice was their best friend, they had no idea who killed her. Because in the party, everyone was her friend. And Alice's sister, Polly, kept telling others that her ex-boyfriend, Clark, killed her. And soon after Alice's death, Jessica tried to find out who killed Alice, but that didn't work. And soon they got a prom dance party at school, and they had to choose who is the prom queen. Every chosen girl, Jessica, Claire, Cindy, and Maria was desperate to be a queen. And the result is that Maria is the homecoming queen. It was supposed to be a great news to them. Although Jessica lost, she, would, she is still happy for her. And but something unfortunate happened to her. A truck crashed on her and she is injured badly. She is lying on a cold floor. There was blood and glasses on her face. She is not dead, but breathing is a hard task for poor Maria. She was sent to the hospital. It's lucky that she is still alive, but she was paralyzed. Michael knew that would happen, and he knew that he needs to find someone, Clark. Clark warned Michael that it's better for him not to care what happened and what's going on, because he is not going to be a hero. And one day, Polly had another party on a ship and invited all her friends to join. Another incident was going to happen again. The ship sank and Polly is trying to let the electricity pass through by water. Everybody in the water can die because it's a really dangerous situation. And what's more, Jessica doesn't know how to swim. It's making the situation even more dangerous and complicated. Luckily, Michael helped her and nobody dies this time. And the one who murdered Alice crashed on Maria and tried to get everyone on the ship killed is Polly. I guess Michael and Jessica are the heroes because they have to find out who is the killer and stop Polly to kill the poor king. I like this story very much as I like to read horror stories. The horror stories ending always shocked and surprised me. As expected, this story also shocked me. It is quite incredible that Polly was the murderer. Polly said she was told to kill people and said Clark was planning to kill everybody on the ship. However, these are actually Polly's imagination. It was surprising and it makes me like the stories even more. Yeah, I like the story too, although it's a bit bloody. But the story itself attracts me so much. I cannot believe Polly is the bad guy because she is a really quiet girl in the story. And she ended up on having mental problems. The part that I like in the story is that when Polly is trying to get everyone on the ship killed, Michael didn't run away or try to stop her, which is what the hero usually does. And when everyone is trying to convince Jessica to leave, Jessica insists to stay because she cannot swim and she can also stop Polly to shoot on people. And they are the heroes in the story for me. This is the end of our sharing, and we hope you will read it someday as it is a really good book. Thank you.